Hi, this video is about the Caribou Mathematics Contest in Canada. I'm going to show the solution for the February 2012 Grade 3 4 contest, Question 12, which also came up in the Grade 5 6 and 7 8 contests. Okay, so this game is called Bomb Diffuser, which is also known as Minesweeper. So here are the rules. You win the game by uncovering all squares that are not bombs. So a square would be like this or this. So when you uncover a bomb, you lose the game. So uncover a number, and it would tell you how many bombs lay hidden in the eight surrounding squares. So if you think a spot is a bomb, you can mark it with a flag by holding down shift and clicking. So that would be shift click. So for example, I would do shift click and this could be a bomb. But it, it doesn't have to be a bomb, but it could. So the green counter indicates how many more spaces you have left to uncover before you win. So this is the green counter, which means there are 71 squares you have left to uncover before you win. So now the red counter, which is 10, indicates the number of bombs remaining, assuming all your flags are bombs. So you can try as often as you like, but you have to beware of the remaining test time. So if you manage to win, then it will aut automatically submit the answer and you will be awarded full marks. So let's start. So to start, we will click in random fields to uncover an empty space. So like this. But now I hit a bomb. So now I can just press this button. And I only wasted about 5 to 10 seconds. So now I can just start again. So now I will hit one more. So this looks like a reasonable amount of space. So to solve this problem, we are looking for corners. So now a corner would be when an uncovered square like this one is surrounded by three or four neighboring numbers like this. And there are also different various corners in this field. So let's start with this corner. This one indicates that it is one neighboring bomb. And since this is the only neighbor it has, this has to be a bomb. So I will shift click. So now the, these other two ones also indicate that they have one neighboring bomb. But since it is already there, this cannot be a bomb. So let's look at this corner. So this one indicates that it has one neighboring bomb. And since this is the only neighbor it has, I would shift click this as a bomb. So now this corner is also easy. These three ones indicate that they have one neighboring bomb and since this is the only neighbor that they all have this has to be a bomb. So I would shift click that too. So now let's look at this corner. This one indicates that it has one neighboring bomb and since this is the only neighbor it has I would shift click this as a bomb. So now I would look at this one. This one indicates that it has one neighboring bomb, but since it already has one right here, this cannot be a bomb. So now I would look at this corner. This one indicates that it has one neighboring bomb, and since this is the only neighbor it has, I would shift click this as a bomb. So now I would look at this too. It states that it has two neighboring bombs. But since it already has two right there, this cannot be a bomb. So let's look at this corner. This one indicates that it has one neighboring bomb. But since it is already there, we know that its two other neighbors also cannot be bombs. So now we would look at this corner. This two indicates that it has two neighboring bombs. And since this is already one bomb, and this is the only other neighbor it has, this has to be a bomb. So I will shift click that. So now I would look at this last corner. This two indicates it has two neighboring bombs. 
And since this is one, and this is the only other neighbor it has, I will also shift click this as a bomb. So now we would obviously have to look at this corner last. So let's look at this corner. So actually let's look at this corner because it is easier because this has a one. So so this one actually this corner so this one indicates that it has one neighboring bomb and since this is the only neighbor it has this has to be a bomb so I will shift click that. So now I would have to look at this corner. Actually, I would look at this corner because it has one a one here. So this one indicates that it has one neighboring bomb. But since it is already here, we know that this cannot be a bomb. So now we look at this two. This two indicates it has two neighboring bombs. And since this is one, and this is the only neighbor, other neighbor it has, I would shift click this as a bomb. So now I would look at this one. It, this one indicates that it has one neighboring bomb. And since it is already here, this cannot be a bomb. So again, this one indicates that it has one neighboring bomb. But since it is there, this cannot be a bomb. So now this two indicates that it has two neighboring bombs. So one is already here. And since this is the only other neighbor it has, this has to be a bomb. So I will shift click that. So now as you can see, it says there are zero red, which means there are no other bombs remaining. So I can just click this now, left mouse click. But if you want to do it mathematically, then you, you would look at this corner and you would see this too has two neighboring bombs which are already there so this cannot be a bomb so now it says you won congratulations and your answer will be submitted auto automatically so you have already answered that question so if you'd like to know more about this contest please feel free to visit our website at www.brocku.ca slash caribou